Hi friends, MD Vegan. It's time for my daily greens and I have a very easy salad lettuce here that's called a iceberg lettuce. And you see they grow like a butt. They are closed, they grow like that. So you, there's no dirt inside. You see that's fantastic because you just cut them in half as this one. And here a little bit brown and you can cut that off or it doesn't really matter. And then it is clean. You, maybe you take the outer leaf off, uh, but that's all you need to do. So it's the easiest salad to make, and that's why I like it a lot. And some people say, you know, lettuce, iceberg lettuce, it has no, it's like cardboard, there's nothing in it. That's a real problem. That's a wrong belief because even the lowest of all lettuces in nutrients, it's the iceberg salad, obviously, even that is super healthy. Yeah, and it's green, it's a lot of fiber, it has a lot of minerals and vitamins, not too many, but enough. And the water is in there, so it's super healthy anyway. <laughs> so uh, I, I like my uh, iceberg lettuce also because it is so not only easy to make, I yeah, just cut it into quarter and cut down then almost like pieces, yeah, like this. <clears throat> That's, uh, that's, there's no salad that to, that to make that easy, uh, the easiest one. It also has a, a little crunchy leaf. It's not too tender. That means I can put a dre easy dressing on it. You see, this is it's a nice texture. It's, I like it so fresh and crunchy. And maybe that's the most important quality of a, of a salad or lettuce anyway, the crunchiness of the leaves, the freshness. And this one is always fresh. And it has a no bitter flavor. It's almost a very interesting, a nice flavor. <clears throat> so I make a very simple salad today. I put a tomato on top. I was lucky I found this Herlom tomatoes. I can cut them in slices, wherever I like, and they are fleshy inside, so they don't run away that fast. Some tomatoes are very runny. This one is very easy to use. Then I have a half an onion. I chop it up. Small pieces, so when you have these small pieces in the onion, and uh, they combine very nice with tomatoes. Tomatoes have, have a lot of water, so it runs out of it, and the onions, the, the small little uh, pieces of the onion, they wash out the hot flavor into the tomatoes. And that's that's really tastes amazing. Tomato with onion is perfect. Yeah, and the colors here that's so light, the red white, green, <laughs> very nice. And on top, very special ingredient, it's called cress. Uh, cress is a fantastic herb and it is a, a green herb. And you know, in Germany, you can get them everywhere, the little boxes, they grow, they sprout them in these little boxes and buy the whole, sell the whole box. This is one box, very expensive, they're everywhere. And you just, I put one whole box Onto a salad, you know, they have these very small little sprouts, herbs, I don't know what to call it. Yeah. And uh, the fantastic thing is they are oh, a little bit dirt. I have to get that out. Sometimes when you get it out of the box, they have a little dirt, but that's no problem. Just you see it, it's no easy. It's easy. So, but, uh, but the, the thing is with the cress, it is from the cruciferous family, the cruciferous vegetables. That is um, the leaves of the uh, sprouts are crosswise growing and so that means the, they are cruciferous uh, they are called cruciferous that's a whole family of plants and they all produce a very uh, potent anti-cancer uh, agent called sulforaphane it's like a broccoli and cauliflower um, also here yeah uh, it's it's a really amazing thing and uh, it's in the crest too, yeah. <laughs> Radishes have the two. Yeah. All the same family. And I put it just on top, it has a, a, a biting flavor. It's, it's a little bit of sharp flavor, like a pepper a little bit. Um, but the black pepper more. But of course in green, yeah, <laughs> you know. Uh, and um, cr the crispy the flavor, um, like a seasoning a little bit. And like also like you know from the sulfur. Sulfur is a, an element from the periodic system of all the elements and sulfur is yellow and has a strong flavor and smell and that is what in sulforaphane is so potent and 
um, tastes a little bit sharp. At some point, cauliflower, uh, they have all these flavors, these sharp flavors. It's all the same, radishes, and that's very powerful. So this is a standard combo with a very, maybe a little bit of an extra ingredient on top, the um, cress. Yeah? There are different kinds of cress. This is garden cress. Okay, uh, there's other cress plants. Uh, they have large greens, leaves, yeah, big leaves, and they grow in the water, the you know, running water in the forest and the and wild little um, water is there. There they grow in hidden places. It's an amazing plant, it's interesting to study. But I have this very simple garden cress, all very potent. And um, that's a very unique thing here, but the rest is very standard. And also here, one of my favorite dressings, the easiest one, cashew cream dressing, I call it. You just have uh, cashews, lemon, dates, pepper and salt and water. And then you go blend it and have a dressing for every salad almost. A very simple one. Um, and how to make it, yeah, very easy, I said, but you can also watch a video. It's linked under this video, a cashew cream dressing, I call it. Some variations. And uh, it's from my grandma or from my auntie. <laughs> so they always have a best salad in the, in the garden, the lettuce fresh and then they put just a little bit of cream on top like this with a little bit of split seasoning that's it i loved it always with a little bit of sugar they used i take the, take the dates now that's it so very simple dressing and um, my daily greens are done that's that's all i need to do uh, i need to make greens every day and there are so many easy ways to get a delicious fantastic salad you don't need to put that much in it it's very simple and um and it's a starter, yeah? <laughs> Just like this, it's, um, you know, there's not much in it, but it's so potent, so refreshing, and um, it makes an appetite for more. Yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy. If you like, like my video, subscribe at MDV on YouTube. Have another recipe every single day, and find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter.